Hello, it's Patricia. How are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago. How are you? So today in this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about this Mercury retrograde. What is the Mercury retro bringing for you this time? And we're right here on the cusp of the 1111 gate. And what does this mean? So a lot of people are very hopeful of what it means. Are you feeling this sense of urgency that feels like someone's having a party for you somewhere, somehow, someone's going to surprise you. You can't see it yet, but you somehow feel like something needs to get done. We're putting the finishing touches, the final touches on something. And it's going to be a really wonderful surprise. There's sort of this excitement in the air. And yet a part of you is also feeling a bit tired, like you've been on this marathon, which you have. You have been on this marathon sometimes for several years. If you really look back, it's really your whole life. It's not just right now. But now this is where the rubber meets the road in terms of your culmination life, the true end of karma. We're closing out a decade. It's not the 1960s anymore. You're in an entirely new century. Why aren't you living like it, right? So that's part of the excitement, the newness, the freshness, the ability to have an ending and a new beginning. As the song says, Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Whatever we once begun, it's coming to a closure. That closure has been going on in several, several portals and cycles of energy. I just say that loosely. Now, some of you have started feeling this energy from about a week before it actually happened. That should tell you you're a little bit ahead, which is a good thing. If you're feeling it on the day of, and mind you, I even had one time where I set my alarm for 11 at night on the 11-11 and nothing happened. Nothing happened. Isn't that funny? So people expect something to actually happen. And sometimes if you pay attention, it's already happening ahead of time. And that's a good thing. So if some of this is happening for you, in some ways you're a little bit ahead of the pack, but maybe not by much. And there's some other things to know. This is a Mercury retrograde that's specifically for lovers. It is for you to pay attention to the small parts of your life, your feelings, how you are, and particularly about your health. So I'm going to talk to you about that because... You can have feelings that make you feel like a teenager again. But when you go back and you say, what did I do as a teenager? I don't know. Were you insecure? Were you impulsive? Were you exuberant? Were you always creating something and yet nothing ever could finish? Did you have trouble getting people on board? Did you have a lot of energy? Were you highly emotional probably? Were you on a roller coaster ride of just hormones and uh, impulses and ideas? And, you know, that's a part of this energy when everything is just seeming so scattered and you're making, you know, you're putting one foot forward and it's like talking, but your mind cannot go as, or your words are not going as fast as your mind is trying to go. And in this sense, your body can't go as quickly as your twin flame body is moving you. And that is actually a real thing for people. What else happens on it? Well, lots of fatigue. Okay, How many people are feeling some form of fatigue? And you don't even know where it is. You can't breathe or you feel extra hungry and yet not hungry at all. You feel hungry and full at the same time. You feel like sleeping all the time. You have a low mood and low energy. And maybe you feel like a big cat that's had a really good antelope for dinner and you just need a long two-day nap. Does it feel like that? 
It might for some people. But maybe you can't afford to take a two-day nap. So you're saying, what is going on with me? What gives with this? Additionally, you might be having some of these other symptoms. Relationship patterns do not work and you find yourself frustrated with people around you, uh, situations at work, people that seem uncooperative, family members that somehow it's like talking to the wall and you're just saying, what's going on with people around me? What gives with this? It's like I landed on a new planet or a different planet. I'm not even from the same planet as these people. You can feel like that. And yet you're all here in the melting pot. And you look around and you say, I don't want to melt with those people. I want to melt with my true love. Of course you do. That's what you're here for. So what goes with this when all of those old relationship patterns aren't working? Headaches, migraines, and mind you, not just women are experiencing this, men are too. Head pressure where it feels like something's squishing your head. Your nerves, you notice things with your nerves or your skin, inflammations. What is happening? Do you feel little brain zap, you know, like zaps, like something's disconnected and it's not connecting properly? What's up with that? I know what's up with that. And it goes along with this. What about your stomach and your digestive system? Are you feeling sleepy? Are you noticing fluctuations in your appetite? So all of these things do have a significance for your life. What does it mean for your life? It means that you're not supposed to carry certain things into your twin flame union, into your togetherness. Are you feeling burpy, belchy? You have gas coming up. What's that? Again, digestive system. So these things go very far back into history. They go into your genetics. They go into uh, traumatic experiences that you or your twin flame may have had. Remember that there's your other half. You can actually feel some of the things that they have experienced. You can feel their emotions. You can feel them getting drunk. You can feel them overeating. You can feel them binging. You can feel them watching too much TV. They can feel you. You can feel head buzzing. Ear, um, you can feel like your ears are stuffy or plugged up. All of these things. And you could be saying, what's that got to do with love? What's got love got to do with it anyway? Just like the Tina Turner song, right? So in order to help with some of this, I do have a couple of things to suggest. My Psyche Body Session, which, which does help with the deep things that start in the head, start in the digestive, and have to do rela relationship patterns and low mood and low energy. This session also will help with people balancing out feeling like a teenager again because there's good aspects to it. This is not puppy love. This is like being like a teenager with the freshness and the newness and the never having been touched, but getting rid of things that maybe where you were touched or where you were somehow roughed up or something that needs healing on you. Purging and healing. Your body wants to purge this stuff out. I want you to be healthy. So as we go into the next level here, and we go into the next decade, you better believe that it will be much more commonplace for people to get energy work because that will simply maintain them and free them up to do what they need to do, make love with their twin flame, get a little bit of maintenance, just like getting a massage. That's what we used to do. That's what we did in the fifth dimension. We would help each other in these ways but with the necessary modicum of exchange, a proper energetic exchange. And this is where it's sometimes lacking out there is that people are not sure what to do. And I say, come to me who has absolutely top-notch sessions to get you on track and get you flowing again. I have helped a number of people get rid of suicidal thoughts, Psyche issues, we, 
not everything that we think of as a mental issue is a psyche issue. Some of it can be caused by addictions, drugs, and alcohol. Some of it has to do with aligning your energy so that you're both equally creative and moving forward and manifesting what you need to. What I'm also capable of doing is intuiting what supplements may help you, what things for you to do, which I do include, so that you can keep going here, so that you're able to do some self-maintenance for a little bit of time. There are some things that do require more than one session. If you're just going and just having the mental body satisfied with doing a certain type of thing, you really should consider doing some energy work because that will take you even further. And furthermore, it helps open you so that you get the clarity you need. Very much so. And people that I've worked with have found themselves getting into the flow with the work that they want to do, um, swinging it around so that they are lining up to go into the livelihood and the calling of their heart that is pulling them, calling them, helping them. So if you are having any of these things, I suggest that you try a Psyche Body session with me. And you can join my class, my class on relationships and health. We've already done part one, which was about inner child, childhoods. Um, we did it about health issues. Part two was about family and friends and children, children of the unions, what to do about them, how to help them, what to do when they're acting out, what to do when they themselves are having ascension symptoms. What about your low mood and low energy? We talk about that in there. And part three that's coming up here, you can see the, the three. Part three has to do with sacred love, which is going to include aspects of love making and what is it all about? Because it's not about what people think it is. It's not even about, um, it is not 3D primal uh, limited relations Some because sometimes those are not intimate. And this is something that people truly miss and truly want. They want emotional intimacy. They want a spiritual feel to how things are because why? Because that's the being you are. That's how you've already lived. That is your normal. Having mating season is not your normal. And that's going to be proven time and time again. If someone is just calling you in the middle of the night for a booty call and you went from this much attention to them down to a text every six months, pay attention to that. Pay attention to how it makes you feel. And if it makes you feel crappy, then honor yourself and come and find out what this is really about and how you really create it. Because it's not about picking up the phone and I had someone uh, say to me that they were working with someone and that person told them to go yell at the person they were dating. What's that about? Why are coaches telling people to yell at people? Haven't we all had enough of that? Haven't that hasn't that all been a part of a relationship pattern? They do not work for Twin Flames. No, we roll a lot higher than that. We take the high road and we have a body with a lot of bells and whistles to help us accomplish and get the things done and get the things together that we need. Not the other way around. It's not about a text. It's not about a phone call. It's not about yelling at someone or confronting someone or getting your big brother to go beat them up. It's not about that. It's not about strategies and manipulation. No. And in fact, we talked about that. All of the nasty, dirty things that have happened in relationships that just won't fly anymore. Why? Because your love is not here to support it. It just isn't. And you're going to find out that that stuff feels like you're standing and treading water if you keep going like that. If someone is keeping you off balance... 
telling you you're crazy when you try to talk to them about what they're doing. Don't even waste your time. Walk and come and join and find out the real way to connect with the higher twin flame that belongs to you. It's time to say it, okay? It's enough of the old ways, the old relationship. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. We already did that, okay? That only goes so far. In fact, for soulmates, it still only goes so far. It can make things simmer down so that people aren't arguing all the time. But if people are only living in a certain part of their body, that's not real living either. It's time for the high heart, and it's time for you to clear out some of your chakras that keep, these are the ties that bind, of human bondage. Okay, I'm going to use that phrase. And I was getting a song this week, and I really liked the song, and I really liked the people, but I'm going to kind of, the group, I'm going to kind of uh, sing a little bit of it here, and you know, to anyone out there, hey, I got a song in my heart, and I'm going to get it out. And you can just, you know, skedaddle because I'm not stopping, okay? I get my messages through song, and I pass them along. And my inspiration is Kelly Rosano. And, you know, I figured if she can sing, I can sing too. So there. So this song kind of goes... I like that you're broken, broken like me. Maybe that makes me a fool. I like that you're lonely, lonely like me. I could be lonely with you. Okay. Now you could take that two ways. You could take it as, you know, our twin flames coming together and you're getting your broken pieces and you're fixing them together. Or are you just hanging with someone because you're broken and you just need someone to hang with. Think about it, okay? In fact, even better, feel it out for yourself. Because as you put together, you put yourself together with your true love and you unify your bodies, that's what creates union. Not, not the other thing, not just two broken people hunkering down or camping out or, you know, just, you know, being with someone because of companionship's sake. Or for convenience. Convenience relationships and convenience marriages are going to be breaking up. And they may not be everybody right away, but there's really nothing to support them anymore. The high heart energy is not here to support those things because the high heart on everyone wants everyone to be in love with their true person. And it's what you came for. And you're here to be healthy with it, harmonious, and have a harmonious family if there's families, children, and to ride off into the sunset. Get the girl, save the world. Okay, get the guy, save the world. Because when you two come together, that's what actually pulls the love and pulls things into a vibration of love. It's not going, ta-da, I'm on the mission, da -da 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 -da, and going off galloping. That's not really exactly the way it works. That's how it's been in the old paradigm. Put on the cape, round up some people. We need people that are actually ready to be the conduit and pull in all of your deliciousness so that you yourself are having the loveliest, blissful time and sacred love. So if you want to find out about that, join my online class. The link is below. Or have a psyche body session if you feel that you're struggling, stuck, and there's some heavy stuff that you just would like to get shifted quickly. And I mean quickly by the end of the session and then end of the session two days after and a week after, you're feeling vastly different. It goes that swiftly. If you would like to uh, check out any of my books, they're on my website store at TwinFlameBody.com where I also have lovely essential oils. I have supplements to help you. And I do make recommendations for those. I can curate a package for you that will be helpful for you. And I do an intuitive session for that. So remember... 
Love Heals. Oops. Love Heals. And you use your Twin Flame body to do so. Check out at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com if you have questions. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.